All right, so we're looking at this one, and no matter what, everybody, I don't care how long a question is, everybody, what do I always say? We always got to do what first in a word problem? That's right, Bruno. Read the question. If you're in my all-access pass, you know what I'm talking about. Read the question first. That is always the ideal situation here because you want to know the title of the book before you open it up. I'm not just going to pick up some random book and read about, I don't even know, like, oh, this is what narcolepsy is. No, no, I don't care about that. So here we are. What is the first term? So in my head, I'm going to go ahead and just boom. First term. There it is. Now, next thing I'm going to do after reading the question is I'm going to gather the important information. Like what up here is important enough for me to actually write down? Let's go. So grabbing the highlighter here. The third term of a sequence is 18. Okay. Third term is 18. So I'm going to go ahead and use my black pen here and say, okay, don't know what the first is. Don't know what the second is. But let me remind myself, this is what I'm going for. That's the goal. That's the goal. I don't know what the second term is. I do know what the third term is, apparently. The third term is 18. Okay. That's what I got from there, the highlighter. Then the fifth term is 38. Okay. Sounds good. Don't know what the fourth term is. I got the fifth term, and that's going to be 38. Sounds good. Cool. All right. Now, at this point, is anybody looking at this saying... Uh, sweet baby Jesus, what are we doing? How are we supposed to get from 18 or 38 to anything? Like, right? And so it's okay. It's okay. Because if this is where you got confused, that's a good thing. Because obviously, if you haven't seen this yet, it's okay. But it's a matter of, okay, how do we present ourselves with different situations, but still come out with the correct answer? Here's how. It reads, if a common number is added to find the next term in the sequence... What is the first term? So that's very important here. A common number is added to find the next term in the sequence. What does that mean? Everybody, that means, and you tell me, is this true or false? If you're adding a common number, it means that you're adding the same thing every time to get from the next term to the next term to the next term. That's what that means right there. Yeah. In purple, a common number being added to find the next term in the sequence means that you're adding the same thing from one to the next to the next. And so here's a shortcut method, everybody. And if this makes sense, but blew your mind, just go ahead and give me a yurt in the chat box, all right? So watch this. Um, everybody, how do I go from the third to the fifth? How many terms am I adding there? How many terms am I adding to get to the third to the fifth? Or from the third to the fifth? How many terms, how many terms? From term number three to term number five, how many terms did I go up? That's two terms. If I go from the third to the fourth, that's one. And then from the fourth to the fifth, that's two. One, two. I jumped two terms. And so what happened there is I jumped two terms. And what was the actual jump in terms of 18 to 38, everybody? How do I go from 18 to 38? Right, we add 20 there, right? We added 20. We added 20. So some people here might be thinking, oh, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and take that 20, divide it by two, and we can get the term for like for each individual term. We can do that. But I'm telling you right now, you don't have to. You don't have to. Because everybody, how many terms backwards do you have to jump to go from the third to the first? How many terms? How many terms? Yeah. You're going back two terms. You're going back two terms. Everybody pay attention here. Pay attention. Because if I went up two terms and I added 20, what am I going to do if I want to go back two terms? Ooh, Maya, Mikhail, Mario, Lizzie. Yes. Subtract 20. One more time, if, if we go up two terms and add 20, if I'm going back two terms, I'm subtracting 20. And so with that, my party people, let me go and write this in red here. I'm going to subtract 20 
from 18, everybody, what's 18 minus 20? What is 18 minus 20? Negative two, because again, 18 and 20 are two numbers away, but because the 20 is bigger, you'll keep it as negative two, and automatically, automatically, the answer is D. So, like I said in the chat box, if that made a lot of sense and surprised you a little bit, give me a year. And so with that, I'm also gonna show you how to do it the more conventional way. It is a little longer, but I'm gonna show you the more conventional way, I got you. So, earlier, um, and remember, the reason I did this is not just to be like, oh, here's a trick. The reason I did this is because, remember that on the ASVAB, it's about the quickest way to get it done. That's really what you want. You want the quickest way. Notice how here, I didn't fill in the fourth term, the second term. I didn't fill in any information that I didn't need to fill in. I noticed conveniently that, oh, this is a jump of two terms, and I only need to jump back two terms to get the answer. And so I just applied the same jump, but backwards. But let's just say we didn't see that. What can we also do? What we can do here is let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Let me just focus our attention over here. What we could have also done is said, hey, look, if I jump two terms and I jumped up 20, well, how do I split that? Because what if I only wanted to know the jump from one term to the next? Well, think about it like this, everybody. You can say, hey, I jumped 20 over two terms, which is division. If I did a plus 20 over the course of two terms, 20 divided by two, everybody, what is that? 20 divided by two is what? Hit me, that's 10, of course. And so boom, 20 divided by two is 10. And so that's the jump per term. If I'm doing one, so let me erase this here, because I'm hoping that you guys already had this down, but you can always rewind or you can always watch the recording to get this back. What I can do is say, hey, if I'm doing one term, one term, I'm adding 10. I'm adding 10. Will that still work? Everybody, if I start from 28 to go to 38, will that still work? Yes or no? Will that still work? Ah, so yes, it does. If I wanna find the common difference, and again, I'm gonna get a little technical now, but if I wanna find that common number that you're adding by, and you, are, you have a gap, basically divide the jump by the gap. Divide the jump by the gap. The jump was 20, the gap was two. 20 divided by two gives you 10, and now we found it. And so what we can do then is apply that same strategy here to work backwards now. And we can say, oh, we'll subtract 10 to get eight, subtract 10 again to get negative two. So boom, two different ways of doing it. Honestly, there's a few other ways that we can try to do it, one with the formula as well, but either way, we can still get D negative two. So, with that said, how are we feeling about that one? Feeling a little better? Which way did you prefer, first or second? 